What's up, YouTube? We are back with another video. Back move, and we got a reaction. Like I said, we are going to be acting to Luis Franklin, and we're going to watch his video that was posted by Fox News. It's called Catholic Church Host Luis Franklin for Speak in Chicago. And that's the video that we're about to watch. Let's get it. Use the browser extension that automatically compares. Hey guys, here. Their author Raymond, I thought after Farrakhan was See. banned from Facebook. Seventy-seven thousand might be coming to an end, but now a Catholic priest is trying to Fools. resurrect him. Laura, it's simply unbelievable. Chicago priest Father Michael Flager, a leftist activist, oh, which God, we'll get into him. in a moment. Yeah, he invited oh. the controversial Nation of Islam leader to speak at his Chicago parish yesterday. The oh. reason, he wants Farrakhan back on Facebook. Watch. Minister Farrakhan has been a bold voice against injustice done against black people in this country. His voice deserves and needs to be heard. Mm -hmm. To underscore the point, Flager broadcast Louis Farrakhan's visit from his parish on oh Facebook, God. flouting their ban, even though Farrakhan Let's was banned from those social this media made. sites, in part because of his allegedly anti-Semitic speech. To May 10th, the 2009. People, 19, I mean. You don't know me. But somebody made you hate me. This is just the beginning, banning me from a social platform. I use that platform with respect. And I'm here to separate the good Jews from the satanic Jews. For this man, he's out of his mind. And, and for Flager to think that this is appropriate or in any way social justice to bring a man like this spouting hatred and anti-Semitism to a Catholic church Frankly, it's amazing to what? me that the Chicago I, Archdiocese hasn't intervened here, Lord. Outrageous. The, the Flager has been doing this nonsense, th this type of stuff, Raymond, for yep. years, and yet the Vatican looks the other way. There's no comment. He, he, the, Flager has been a, 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 a nightmare, frankly, for a lot of Catholics in the Chicago area and, and oh, frankly, God. across the country for a long, long time. I, I, well, we should have brought Flager on our, our Facebook panel that we had a few minutes ago. Well, maybe next time. Laura, he... Here's the thing. He, at one point, Flager said, America is the greatest sin. It's the greatest sin against God. And he called for a what? gun owner who owned a shop. He asked people to snuff out the owner of the gun shop. I mean, now the president of the Illinois Holocaust Museum, Fritzi Fritzel, herself a survivor of the Holocaust, said today, quote, I don't understand Father Flager because I've always thought he was one for peace. Oh, what he's doing today and what he's doing with Farrakhan is giving him a platform for hatred. Hatred he has spoken for many, many years. Laura, this is just the beginning of this, and, and hopefully it's not the last we hear of people speaking out against this kind of hatred to flag All right, tell us about the CNN panel. What, what, what happened oh, yeah. there? Well, speaking of unexpected reactions, CNN gathered a panel of Democrats in Pennsylvania to try to get a pulse on how Democrats are feeling going into 2020. All then right. came the ultimate right. question. Right. How many of you feel confident today that a Democrat will win in 2020. Hmm. Later, a fight broke out. It was crickets, Laura. There were only two of them raising their hand. Well, later, a fight oh, broke no. out over the gender of the Democratic nominee or what it should be. What? I still don't know if I'm going to watch the news right now. I'm not convinced. I just want to watch the news right now. We have thing. to make it ready. It's time for a woman to run this country. Yes, why not? Yes, yes. I want About a woman president Franklin. more than anything else in this world. When I was a little girl, I wanted to be the first woman president. You wanted to be the first woman president. Well, first of all, I, I, what, what I'm still trying to get over is Allison Camerata saying this, Raymond, after only two or three people raised their hands about whether they're yeah. competent. Hmm. <laughs> who did the wait wait, who picked the composition of this panel? What producer yeah. well, is gonna get well, the boot because of this embarrassing CNN? 
But Laura, you saw something very illustrative there. You are seeing a glimpse of 2020 in the Democratic Party. At the moment, they lack unity. There is no clear governing agenda or something to rally them together oh, Trump, except hatred of Trump. That's it. But what, you see, what you're seeing and what I think is going to be is a collapse in the gender That's what they and, call and, uh, hatred, uh, politics buddy. that could rip them apart. And really, th th they could have to be a multi-headed hydra going into 2020 and pave the way for hatred, Donald Trump. No, okay, now, Laura, they're, they're uh, now, we've been having some very bad weather down here in Louisiana, where I am now. And the other day, a local reporter, Lester Due, decided to use a prop to show how high the water was. He decided to use a crawfish. Bad choice. And a number of people are actually here looking for crawfish. Oh, he just got me actually on TV. Okay, well, that hurt. <laughs> Laura, the only good kind of crawfish is one that's been boiled when you snap its head off. That's it. That's the well, only kind that you Raven, can flavor. Raven, I thought it was going to be like the other day when that man rung the doorbell and then the snake, oh, the snake bit him. Bit him this was sold to me as a crawfish fish biting a nose. Like, I wanted the no, nose no, just bit, a finger. not just a just finger. A that's finger. A, what is that? Right. That's it's a finger. It is. We want the whole Laura. nose taken off, okay? No, not really. It's just funnier No, no, way. no. Laura, I have a big book signing here in New Orleans before I go tomorrow, Saturday, at Octavia Books Uptown, 3 p.m. I'll be Ooh. signing copies of the Will Wilder series. So everybody come out and see me. RaymondArroyo.com. Details are there. See you next week. All right, Raymond. We'll see you next week. Last month, I made $280,000 Shopify dropshipping. This month, I made zero. And why did I make zero? Because I found something better, something that you can get started with with zero dollars up front, and you can get paid as soon as this week. And if you don't believe me, jump into my computer for just 30 seconds. I'm going to prove it to you right now. Come on. All right, what is up, guys? Welcome into my screen. What we're going to do right now is press the refresh to prove to you that this is real, right? How are we making, you know, a close to $10,000 per day doing what I'm about to show you, right? You can see this is from today's date, right? 325 just a few minutes ago, a thousand dollars, a thousand dollars, a thousand dollars, a thousand dollars. You can see the transfer oh, account, eleven thousand dollars from yeah. My bad guys. I left for a few minutes. Oh, I'll show her. So you have to show you get a Louis Franklin. That ran. Go look her out. Her name will be in the description. Louis Franklin. 